Hey everyone, NSI Baker here and today I'm gonna show you how to make my Irish drunk cupcakes. So I wanted to do this video for St. Patrick's Day but considering I had two days to make it after I posted the lemon meringue pie video I was like yeah I won't do that or else I'm gonna go insane but I had all the ingredients with me to do the videos and I didn't want to waste it so I decided to make the video for a later date. And I figured this recipe is good for any day, so let's get right on it, shall we? Now, this recipe is inspired by the Irish car bomb drink. And considering the name and its origin, I didn't really feel comfortable using the name. So instead of calling it Irish car bomb cupcake, I decided to call it Irish drunk cupcakes. Not really original, but actually it's good for... it's good enough. So if you don't know what to drink, it's basically a shot of Bailey's or Irish cream liqueur with a layer of whiskey dropped inside of a glass of Guinness that you drink at the same time. And we'll kind of reproduce that in form of cupcake with a chocolate Guinness cupcake with a Bailey's cream filling and a cream cheese frosting on top. Sorry, no whiskey. Now I have to say that most of the recipe is not actually my own, in particular the cupcake and the frosting. These I got from YouTuber Cupcake Gemma, who's just awesome at making cupcakes and many more. So instead of trying to appropriate this recipe as my own like it's coming person, I'm gonna do the right thing and give you a quick overview on how to do it. I'll put a link of a video down below for you to check out more in depth. Sounds good? I hope so. Okay. First up, the cupcake. So in general it's better to get the Guinness beer from a bottle for this recipe, but you can also use it from a can and uh, the only way to make it less foamy when you get it out is by pouring into a measure cup while tilting the cup. Now in a saucepan you're gonna mix the beer and the butter over a low heat until the butter is melted. Then take it out of the heat. In a bowl you're gonna whisk all of your dry ingredients and set it aside. In another bowl you're gonna mix the remaining of your wet ingredients. Add the Guinness mixture and the dry ingredients and whisk it all until well combined. This recipe is good for 12 cupcakes. Pour the batter into your cupcake mold as evenly as possible. Bake in the oven at 240 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 to 22 minutes. Then set it aside to cool. Next up, the filling. In a bowl, you're gonna mix together half a cup of sugar, a quarter cup of flour, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Then add four egg yolks until well combined. In a saucepan, you're gonna add one cup of milk and half a cup of Irish cream liqueur, or Bailey's and heat the mixture on low heat until you can see bubbles around the side and steam. Then add the milk slowly into your egg mixture until well combined. Then put the cream back into the saucepan and heat until it thickens. Once it thickens, strain the mixture to take off any cooked eggs. Cover the mixture with a plastic wrap and cool it in the fridge until it's ready to use. Next up, the frosting. In the same vein of the cupcakes, this is from Cupcake Gemma and it's good for 12 cupcakes. Beat the butter and the cream cheese together until well combined. Then add the sifted icing sugar in two batches until everything is well combined. Now this part is optional, but you can color your frosting in green with great food coloring. I did it only because it was supposed to be for St. Patrick's Day. Yay! Finally, the assembly. Make a hole at the center of your cupcakes with an apple corer or with whatever you have on hand. Pipe in your pastry cream inside each hole, then top it off with some frosting, as best as you can. And ta-da! Here's the Irish drunk cupcakes that we made, and like I said, it's good for any day. And I approve it. Look at this, it's delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I hope you like it, and if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified for when the next video comes up. Thanks again! And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!